Good morning guys, what's up? My name is Zach. I hope you're all having an absolutely incredible day and welcome back to yet another video. I wanted to thank you all for the amazing response you had on my last video, um, whether that was the thousand or whether that was the 760 horsepower reaction video, whether that was um, 10 things I love about my FG. Um, either way, you know, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I think one of the videos got 600 already, and one of the views, uh, one of the videos got 400 already. And oh my god, that is insane! Like I've never had that many amount of views in that such short little period of time. What I thought would be awesome for me to do today would be to. Okay, so I've already done 10 things I love about my FG. What I thought would be awesome for me to do would be to tell you guys uh, maybe like five things, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Maybe five, five of my most memorable experiences with this car. I'm kind of in a situation at the moment where I don't know whether I want to sell this car, I don't know whether I, you know, want to upgrade to turbo or whether I want to just stick with this and turbo this car. I kind of made up a pros and cons list as to why I wanted to keep this car. And there's not many things or reasons that I want to keep this car except for one thing and that basically is the experiences that I've had in this car and the connection that I have to it. So, so I guess today all I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys basically what are the top five mem most memorable experiences I've had with this car and trust me they are good. So yeah. So I guess we'll count down starting at number five would have to be the day I got this car. This, okay, you guys don't even know the story about how I picked this car up. Basically, I saved up for months and months and months and months and months. There were none of these cars available to buy, which is ridiculous. I I wanted this colour, I knew I wanted this colour. I wanted to get, you know, like obviously leather seats and I wanted to get the colour screen and stuff like that. There's a couple of things that I really wanted that I just didn't get, and that's fair enough. I really struggled to find this car. So what I did was, as soon, I, I posted up everywhere, I posted up everywhere to try and find this car, and as soon as one came up, I thought it was a bit weird because it was on eBay, I'm like, okay, radio. basically, eBay is just an online trading thing where you can buy people's old stuff and they get it sent to you, it's much like Gumtree, but yeah, I guess it's, it's more catered towards the smaller sort of items, so... I guess eBay kind of was the weirdest place to find this car, but I did. That's pretty cool. And it was posted up for $15,000. I'm like, right, let's see what we can do here. It was the only Breeze Falcon sold in Australia at the time. I bought it the very next day for $14,000. I know not big of a, not too much of a negotiation, but I really had to pay the price if I wanted this color. There was none of them being sold. So anyway, I set myself a month I said, radio, now I need to afford flight. So I told the lady that owned this car, I said, right, I'm gonna come and get it on June the 20th. I had no way of getting down to Melbourne on June the 20th. Brisbane and Melbourne are 2,600 kilometers apart. So I saved up a little bit more for the next week, bought myself a plane ticket, and saved up for the next three weeks so I could afford accommodation to drive it all the way back up. And me and my friend, drove up all the way from Melbourne to get it. So on the day that I got this car, I flew all the way down from Gladstone to Melbourne and we took, we had a chauffeur, which is pretty cool. My friend's mum actually hooked us up with the chauffeur a, out to Frankston. This should have been a huge red flag because Frankston in Melbourne is not the nicest place. But anyway, I bought a car sight unseen for $14,000 in Frankston. And I got there and it has been the most perfect car since. I took a two and a half hour flight, two interconnecting flights, all the way down to Melbourne, picked up the car, and then we drove into Melbourne. And then across the trip back, we spent an entire week driving up. We stayed two nights in Sydney. We went to the AFL in Melbourne. We stayed two nights in Brisbane. We, we went to the, the Harbour Bridge. We did everything we possibly could up the Queensland. New South Wales and Victoria Coast and it has been to this day the most memorable road trip that I've ever been on. Okay so number four on this list is a day called All Aussie Day. Basically it's a huge Australian only car meet where basically Fords and Holdens just go at it all day. 
it is my number one most loved event that I can possibly do in this car and I love doing it every single time. So about one year ago at this event, this event comes around every six months, but one year ago, we're just on the track having some fun. Me and my friend Daniel were live streaming and a lot of my friends told me to go up against this red Commodore that I saw up ahead and I'm like, okay, radio must be like an SV6 so something if they're telling me to verse it so I can absolutely smoke it and then say goodbye to it and then, you know, go off thinking that my Ford's the best because it is the best and because it's a barrier, it's amazing and stuff like that. But anyway, pulled up next to the Commodore. It turns out to be a red Commodore Ute VX LS1 V8. I'm like, all right, all right, here we go. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get smoked, but yeah. Anyway, so I will show you guys the video. I'm sorry that it's portrait, but I'll show you all the video. from an LS1 Commodore and this created I, I uploaded this after people saw it on the live stream and people are like holy crap you should upload that right now so I did and so I uploaded it I didn't even share it to any page whatsoever and then it got shared to Ford pages and then it got shared to a JDM page and then it got shared basically all over the internet I'm like, okay, this is getting quite out of hand now. Ended up getting 40,000 views on that video. I know that's not many to some, but 40,000 views on a Facebook viral video is ridiculous. And ever since then, my car has had the nickname, the LS1 Killer. Yeah. Okay, so for number three, it's just gonna be basically another road trip I did in this car. And that was all the way down to Sydney. You guys may or may not know, but I've had this friend online, or well, I say lots of friends because a lot of people have sort of accumulated into our group. But I have a friend called Jacob Steele. We met each other online on a game called Warring Battlezone. I know it sounds stupid, but basically this guy was hassling me about going on Skype. And so I did, and I ended up talking to him for about five days, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's pretty cool. We ended up talking accidentally for the next eight years. We've been best friends for around about eight years, and he's been one of the most loyal and trustworthy people. I, I stupidly trust him with my bank account, and he sent me a butt plug one day, which was interesting. This was gonna be the first time I'd ever done a road trip by myself, and I went all the way from Gladstone, went to Byron, stayed in Byron with my family who were on a holiday. I couldn't go on the holiday because I didn't have enough leave hours, unfortunately. But we went on a trip to Byron, and then from Byron to Sydney. This was two full 14 hour days of driving. It was ridiculous. And I just, it was the most fun I've ever had. I got to go all the way down to Newcastle. We went and hung around Newcastle for two weeks. Then we went to Sydney, and then we went to the end of month meet as well. It was the greatest road trip I think I've ever been on. Apart from the one when I went all the way from Melbourne to Brisbane, or Melbourne to Gladstone, but that's kind of different. The number two, this has to be one of the coolest things I've ever done with my car, and that is become a bridal car at a wedding. I loved every single second of, ah, oh, just, so how that all started was, one of my friends who lives up in Gladstone was getting, he had some angel eye fog lights that he wanted to get installed. And I said, yeah, come over, I've done them before. So he came over anyway, and we started working on the cars, and he's like, how would you like becoming one of my wedding cars? I'm like, really? Oh my god, um, yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. Ooh, tunnel. Ooh. And between when the actual wedding was coming was about seven months. And between that time, I had moved to Brisbane, done everything as well, and then um, I still, still was going to come up for the wedding, for sure. That morning of the wedding, drove all the way up from Brisbane to Gladstone, and I cleaned my car in Gladstone, Got it ready before 11 a.m., which may I remind you is a six hour drive from Brisbane to Gladstone. 
and then I cleaned my car all ready to go and then I went down to the wedding and I found out I was going to be the bridal car so these people here may I remind you are just two of the nicest people that I think I've ever met so all we did was cruise around Tanham Sands for half an hour and then we went and met up with the rest of the the rest of the ceremony down on the beachfront and we lined up all the FGs and we got some awesome photos hopefully I can find them here um, it was just an absolutely awesome day and I hope that one day I'll get to do more of them if not proms number one I'm not even going to tell you, I'm just going to show you. It's the title of the video, it's also the thumbnail, you guys should know what it is. Here it is. That is correct. My car managed to keep up with a Honda NSX. I understand it'd be a lot quicker through the corners. I understand it's worth a lot more money and I understand it's a lot more rare and a lot more cool. Yes, I get all that. But my car managed to keep up with the, with the slow supercar. My car managed to keep up with it. You know how I said my car was the LS1 killer? Ugh. Well, the list goes on. My car's nickname is now the LS1 supercar killer. Yeah, it's a five-speed, naturally aspirated FG Falcon, basically complete taxi spec, is now the LS1 supercar killer. <sighs> Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching the entire video. If you made it this far, I want you to, I don't know, I want you to go and eat a box of shapes because that would really, you know, that's, that's my gift to you, for you to buy shapes and then for you to eat them. It's like my gift to you, I'm allowing you to do this. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these in-car vlog camera things. And yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.